السلام علیکم مائی نیم از احمد بلیل ادران اینڈ آئی ایم اسٹوڈ آف مکینیکل انجینئرنگ اینڈ پاکستان انسٹیٹیوٹ آف انجینئرنگ اینڈ ٹیکنالوجی دس از اور فائنل پروجیکٹ دیٹ از ڈیزائن اینڈ فیبریکیشن آف فوڈ اسٹیپ پاور جنریشن سسٹم مائی گروپ ممبرز اور عاطف جاوید اینڈ محمد مشتبہ اینڈ اور سپروائزر از انجینئر شوکت علی مغیری وائی وی نیڈ ٹو چوز دس پروجیکٹ دا پرابلم اسٹیٹمنٹ از دیٹ انرجی کرائسس از دا میجر ایشو آف ماڈرن ایرا دا ورلڈ از رننگ آؤٹ آف کنوینشنل سورسز آف انرجی ایز میکسیمم سورسز ہیز بین یوزڈ ٹل 2008 Also, these sources are causing pollution to the environment, resulting in global warming, global dimming, and etc. Moreover, emission of fossil fuels are also cause health issues. So, the ultimate solution to deal with this sort of problem is just to implement the renewable sources of energy. The main objective of our project is to use the renewable source to deal with the energy crisis, to kin- convert kinetic energy into electrical energy, to overcome the pollution in the environment. And there is a rapid increase in the population of the world as well as the energy requirements are also increasing. Conventional solar energy sources like coal and life etc. oil are limited and also causing the severe kind of pollution and causing global warming and global dimming. We all know that. The average temperature of the Earth's surface had risen by 0.6 degrees centigrade in the past century and most of the warming over the last 50 years caused by the human activities. It is expected to increase by another 1.5 to 5.8 degrees centigrade by the year 2100. A global energy transition is urgently needed to meet objectives of limiting average global surface temperature increases below 2 degrees Celsius. A transition away from the fossil fuel to low carbon solution will play an essential role as energy related carbon dioxide emission will represent two thirds of the greenhouse gases. Air pollution also has an emerging role on the autoimmune diseases. Renewable energy technology provides an excellent opportunity for mitigation of greenhouse gases emission and reducing global warming through submitting conventional energy sources. There are many forms of renewable energy. Most of these renewable energy depend in the one and another way on the sunlight. Solar, wind power, hydroelectric energy and biomass that is the term for energy from the plants and hydrogen and fuel cell and uh, geothermal power are all some of them. We are also using a renewable ener- source of energy which gives green energy in form of electricity. We know that walking is the most common activity in our daily life. When a person walks, his energy is lost over the walking surface in the form of impact, vibration and sound. Due to his weight on the walking surface through the footfall on the surface during every step. This energy can be tapped and converted into usable forms such as electricity in our project and to produce electricity. Uh, in our project there is a mechanism rack and pinion mechanism is being used in a wheel ratchet mechanism by which power can be generated during both upward and downward stock uh, when the person steps and take off it. This mechanism works on the principle of law of conservation of energy that is mechanical energy is converted into electrical energy. When a person steps on the arrangement, weight of the person exerts a force on it. This force energy is converted into mechanical energy by means of rag and pinion. The mechanism is attached to a DC generator which is converted in th- this energy into mechanical energy. Uh, electrical energy. Sorry. The block diagram is shown here. Uh, there is a footstep arrangement. Then there is a me- uh, rack and pinion mechanism. Gears are matched with it. There is a flywheel dynamo and uh, there, is our, uh, there are some bulbs which show that uh, there is ele- electricity is being produced. Force is needed on the footstep arrangement. Force is transmitted to rack by footstep arrangement. Rack transmit it to the pinion. Force and motion is transmitted to the gears by pinions. Gears are connected to a large diameter flywheel having a greater number of teeth. Energy is stored in the flywheel also, uh, which is used to drive uh, the generator. 
flywheel is attached to a dynamo by means of a small gear which rotates at high speed dynamo converts mechanical energy into electrical energy which can be used to lighten the bulb or can be stored in batteries the the design of our project uh, there is a plate uh, springs uh, rack flywheel and the dynamo the 3d design of the project and this is the mechanism under the step when g2 rack moves downward the g2 one of one side moves uh, and when the rack moves upward the g2 on the other side rotates and transmit power and the motion here are the simulation results uh, equivalent result simulation of the rack and pinion and on the other hand there are the total deformations shown the gear calculations are uh, mentioned here the, there are dimensions like diameters and the teeth are mentioned and the RPMs are mentioned here. The theoretical results are mentioned here. That is the weight of a 65 kg person will give the 31.88 watts. So as the 75 per kg will give the 36.78, 85 will give the 41.69 and 95 kg of a person gives the power of 46.5 then what if a rag moves downward to 0.05 meter so this shows that the power output of the machine is, is for one press according to the survey of an average of 100 percent per hour will pass over the unit at motor railway station so 7.356 kilowatt can be generated per hour and 176.544 kilowatt can be generated per day from this unit. Uh, so the conclusion of this project is that since the power generation units so using footstep is a renewable source of energy, there is no need of any costly input, no pollution in this source of energy able to extend this project by using same arrangement and construct in the footsteps and speed breakers increase in power production rate by fixing school rate by in nearby the schools and the colleges highways and etc thanks for watching this video